All right, what's going on, guys? So we got another. I got another video for you here. Uh, we are doing a DPS check for Beastmaster Hunters, and where the the spec that I kind of found with this is with the Legion update. This kind of spec that I found that I liked the most, that I was getting the most numbers from. It's kind of interchangeable in what you want to do. Uh, there's a few of the abilities that are kind of like they overlap. And what I mean by overlap is they're, they're, the DPS difference is so marginal that it really comes down to it comes down to like you like what ability you really want to use. But this is what I like. So first, I wanted to bring up the Noxic.com, the DPS rankings. And you can see Beastmaster is down here. Like well, hunters are in a bad spot, right? <clears throat> According to this website, hunters are in a pretty bad spot, and and I, I would agree with that. But I do feel like they're still fine and they're still viable um, in doing what they, you know, need to do. So let's break down the the spec real quick. So this is this is what I am going with. This is through testing and stuff that I have found that I like the most. So a lot of people complain here, and they a lot of people like big game hunter, especially with one with the pack. Um, they think Big Game Hunter is the way to go because your critical shot increase from Cobra and auto shot goes up by 50%, which triggers more one with the pack. Now, that's fine if you want to be super bursty, but me, I'm more of a sustained DPS kind of person. Obviously, on these dummies, you're you're this is always going to be engaged. So the DPS number here is going to be is going to be very. It's not going to be accurate because you're going to see people put videos and they're going to swear, hey, Big Game Hunter is the way to go and they're going to post their DPS numbers of them hitting this dummy and that doesn't prove anything because this dummy is always at above 80%, so it's always active. That's not how it's going to be in a real scenario. Also, keep in mind, this hunter is not insanely geared. She's wearing Legion gear, item level 707 because I feel like this is where a majority of the players are going to be. I have two hunters. My other hunter is much more geared than this one, but... I felt like more people are going to be on this in this bubble going into Legion than in wearing, you know, mythic gear and stuff like that. So just getting that out of the way. My other hunter is actually not even PvE. She's PvP. So I went with Way of the Cobra. To me, Way of the Cobra is the more sustained DPS way to go. So what it does is this Cobra shot deals 8% increased damage for every pet or guardian you have active. So it's 8% straight off the bat as long as your pet's alive and then another 8% when you have Dire Beast on the target which is pretty sweet 16% increase in damage for your main that's like your spammable ability right there seems pretty good now this is the one where we get a lot like there's there's people that argue here for these two nobody ever really argues for argues for Dire Stable there's I just it's yeah but there are people that argue for all three of these. Now, the only ones that I like are Stomp and, and uh, Chimera Shot, or Chimera Shot, however you pronounce that. Um, recently, I have really liked what Stomp has done, especially if you get your crit up. So, my crit's at 35%, and my haste is at 25%. That's, like, that's right where I want to be. I want to be, that's, it's just... That, that's that's what you want because for every auto shot crit you have a 35% chance to reset the cooldown on dire beast and With one, well, we'll, we'll get to that later, but right now it's 35% right? And you can have as many dire beasts out as you as you have if you if you get four procs within eight eight seconds You can have four dire beasts out there plus your pet. So what's that 45? Uh, yeah, 45% increased damage from your Cobra shots uh because you took way of the cobra that's pretty insane right the sustained dps is pretty nuts um at 45 i took post haste this is kind of one of those that's like it's kind of your your preference um to me this is more of like a like a dps or uh, a pvp level is 45 but i took post haste i like post haste it's great for farming and stuff like that um and then here this is some people they argue for bestial fury because Bestial Wrath doesn't have a long cooldown, and they say that Bestial Fury, Fury is higher DPS. From when I was testing, it was actually lower DPS than when you get one with the pack procs. Now again, if this is a proc-based ability, so that's where it loses a lot of people. A lot of people are just, I am not for the proc, I don't like procs. Me, I mained a warrior since Burning Crusade, or since Vanilla really, but I didn't raid in Vanilla. 
but I've been raiding since Burning Crusade. So I'm all about proc based abilities. As you guys know, warriors they they just they're, they're proc based up and down. It seems like that's changed a little bit with Legion. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, but especially in WAD, Fury Warriors were like entirely proc based. If they weren't proc and they weren't DPS, and that's why a lot of people didn't really like them too much. But uh, I I that it fits. It was right up my alley. So what this does is it gives your your wild call 15% increased chance to reset the cooldown on Dire Beast. So now every time you crit with a crit, uh, an auto attack, you now have a 50% chance to reset your cooldown. When you can get those procking and chaining, it is nuts. I've had three Dire Beasts out with my pet, and we're we're looking at massive massive crits through co through Cobra Shot. Um, utilizing uh, aspect of the wild and it's just it is so freaking sweet at 75 I took binding shot this is another one that feels more PvP you know what I mean all three of these abilities uh, wyvern sting is your CC some raid groups are gonna be like hey we need you to take wyvern sting that's fine just take wyvern string Th this there's there's no importance here for the rotation um, just go with what your your raid group wants you to go with now here's another one a lot of people talk about um, and they talk about like they want barrage or whatnot. The reason why I do not take barrage here is because it's 2.4 seconds of you pulling away from your main rotation. Your main rotation being you want to be cobra shotting and you want to be kill commanding. You don't want to just be sitting there barraging when you have procs going off. You, The moment that Dire Beast procs, you want that thing out there because you want to utilize as much of that damage as you can. That damage per second, you want that. So I... I went away from that, so I went with the instant Murder of Crows, because I could just open up with Murder of Crows, and I could just leave it there, and I don't have to worry about it. There's no channeling, there's nothing like that. I can just go at it and just take them out. Volley, I'm not a huge fan of. It was okay. It's just much more of an AoE ability, like if you want to get the, if you want to flex your muscles on the trash DPS, Volley, sure, go for it. But a Murder of Crows on single target DPS is the more superior ability to take here at 90 and then here I took aspect of the beast basically 95% of the time my tank or my my pet is in ferocity so he puts a dot on them with kill command it just adds to an already sweet ability that's in your rotation and just gives it gives it a little more muscle some people they take stampede stampede's kind of scary because if for any reason the boss moves you know there's all kinds of stuff that happens tanks have to move a lot they have to dance around with the bosses anybody that's played a tank they know that you know, they got to dance around and move the boss around a room or you know, all kinds of different interactions. So I don't like Stampede. Uh, Stampede probably is going to give you higher DPS if you can stick it and they stay in it. But like I said, the more sustained DPS, I like Aspect of the Beast. And Killer Cobra is... It's it's cool, but if you go with if you go Killer Cobra, I feel like you have to go with the builds that are going to provide you with more focus. So you have to go with like Dire Stable, Dire Frenzy, or uh, Chimera Shot here because you need to be able to rejuvenate your focus quicker because you're going to be running out of a lot. You're going to be running out of a lot of focus with uh, with this because it's basically Cobra Shot, Kill Command, Cobra Shot, Kill Command, and you're gonna, yeah, you're going to run out of focus pretty pretty quickly. So. I'm just going to DPS right here, uh, I'm just going to do the rotation, and we're going to keep an eye on the numbers. I'm a little laggy right now, I feel like it might be OBS, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, let's see what kind of numbers we can pull right now. So here we go, we're going to open up, get our Dire Beast out there, let's pop our cooldowns, and let's just see what we can get. So we're at 28k right now, there we go, Dire Beast proc, go get in there. Wasn't really able to utilize that because the other one had already fallen off. Like I said, sometimes it just doesn't proc, but see, we're already at 36,000 uh, DPS. See, and I, I like what's here we go. We're gonna get two of them out there now. Let's kill command. Let's get our Cobra shot. But you can see that when when it procs, when, when it when it gets going, it's it's a force to be reckoned with. Um, when you get a few of them out there, and it's gonna happen, there's gonna be times where it just procs like crazy, and you are able to get three or even four dire beasts out there and you just your your dps numbers go through the roof now you can see that is dropping a little bit because my procs aren't happening that's that's the problem with proc based dps is it it, it can drop it can absolutely drop um and you're kind of you're kind of stuck up a creek without a paddle and trying to you know get your dps numbers back up this was actually pretty bad and, and it just to me this is just because i'm freaking recording <laughs> 
uh, before I started recording I was practicing through the rotation and stuff like that and I was getting consistently 34 35k DPS no problem and I was struggling to get to 30 yeah it's, it's the it's it's the re recording bug there we go well we got we got a few procs there if we had got those procs at the beginning and then sustained them throughout we would be able to uh, get in there but I feel like this is where a lot of people will be so anyway let's call them back so 20 well 26 let's see where does it have our like maximum 37k that was with all of our all of our cooldowns going and stuff like that so we had mark of the wild bestial wrath going murder of crows on them and all that stuff the average was 32.4k dps so still not bad right around that average that that chart had um and again like through a long boss fight some more procs and it would have definitely picked it up that's going to be it for this video if you guys had any specific questions feel free to drop them down in the comment section um, again, if you disagreed with any of what I am saying here, feel free to tell me down there. I'm okay with debating. Like I said, these three are pretty interchangeable to preference. Like a lot of people like Dire Frenzy. A lot of people like uh, Chimera Shot. I like Chimera Shot. I just felt like Stomp was doing more for me, especially if you keep proccing Dire Beast because you're getting that 26.3k damage when the beast comes out. Plus you're getting the eight seconds of the beast just beating on the, on the boss. So it's increased DPS through that plus way of the cobra you know it's all kinds of stuff adding up <clears throat> but i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope to catch you guys in the next video and i will see you guys later